Welcome back to my nightmare. This is Supi America Simulator. Okie dokie. I don't see anything that's changed right off the bat. We've got mm, laundry with UPS. We've got the dope mega. I am trying to read that, but I can't. <laughs> Even this super fly ass car sounds like shit in this game. I wish they would fix that. I haven't ever gone this way. I wanted to see. Oh, look, Swanky Park. Bumpy Park. Let's see. I'm trying to keep me from going insane, but as you can see, I've already spent part of my time going insane by the amount of money I have. So let's go spend it and become broke again. Uh, okay. Do not worry, kiddos. I have stories again. Alright, so first things first. I want to go to management and growth. So I can't grow again until I hit level 37. And I, yes, I have a lot of stuff. Alright, let's rearrange this popsicle stand. Okay, so far here is construction for now, temporary, and I got all the lights covered as you can see. Yay. I had to move some, I moved the candy over here, I flipped some stuff around. I've got the cleaning stuff is all over here. I moved coffee all the way back here. If you want it, you gotta freaking come get it. Mm. And then I moved all of the coolers all over on this side. And I have some spacious extra ones. Let's see. Here, I'm gonna order some new stuff. Let's go to management. Let's go to licenses. I have 24,000, so let's get one right now. And then, of course, order the crap ton out of this stuff. Oh. No, market. Here we go. All the way down to the bottom. So we're starting with this, the muska. And salmon, two, three, order. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because okay, I gotta find places for it out there and then places for it on my storage. So let me get this on the shelf and I will get it priced. Right, we are with fishies, fishies. I hesitate to put fish and water together, but... Uh, okay. Okay, so I got my new license. I've got product. And I've got everything out and priced. Let's open up for the day and see how we do. Even though I do have enough money. I think... I, hold on. Do I have enough money for another license? Well, I do need to buy more of this stuff. So... That's so expensive. Oh my god. I don't know that I want to buy another license. Holy shit. I can't buy one anyway. I can't buy another one until level 42. And it's more cleaning stuff. Well, okay. Fuck me. Do I have my bills are paid? Okay. Alright. I'm going to put all this stuff up. And then I'm going to open up for the day. And then there's going to be story time. I have a couple of stories since it's been a while since I have recorded this. And... Hmm... This one's about me becoming Switzerland. Okay, so... Can't put that down. Get off me! Let's go open, and... Yeah, you did hear that right. I said me becoming Switzerland. I like the lights on, so... Ooh. <laughs> swanky. Now all I need is, like, some poster boards and adverts and... Cigarettes and all that shit up in here. So, alright. Things have been going on at work. And the reason I talk about work on the, when I play this game is because it is so much like my job. So at work, there is a multitude of people in my department. We are the largest department in my store. We Meaning that our, our duties entail pretty much everything around the whole story, the store area, except for very specific things in very specific departments. We clean and maintain the whole store as well as take care of all the customers and from the time they come in to the time that they leave we're the point of sales the point of contact for them we clean um, and, and spills messes stuff like that we do help other departments uh, like we are like get you know, loaned to other departments and stuff like that but um, we also have the largest amount of staff is that really all you bought okay and that comes with a large variety of different attitudes and priorities, a large 
large age range. See, I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's been a little bit. <laughs> I, I hired cashiers for a while while building up my money. Ethnicities. We have a range of ethnicities. This one in particular involves a maybe 20 year old staff person that hasn't worked at the store for very long. The golden child. So it's two different people. And a regular cashier who English is her second language. And she has a hard time communicating and understanding. So oftentimes what she'll do is she'll just nod her head and kind of laugh and say, yeah. Like, you know, and you think maybe she understands it or she gets it. And sometimes she doesn't. But she's also older and very headstrong. But she's been with the company for years. She's been with the company, I think, longer than I have, but just barely. She came from a different store. She transferred in a couple of years back during um, the pandemic. And she knows her job title. She knows her job title and how to do it very well. But they do have her fill other roles, such as like cleaning and bagging. And she's not too fond of going out and working the parking lot to retrieve cars and stuff like that. And I get it because she's a little older. I don't like doing There's jobs that, there's some details in our, all of our jobs that we don't like to do. And some that we would prefer to be, you know, situated in more often. Um, and one of the things that she actually really despises is the cleaning role, which um, is the store our size with as many people as we have come through all the time. It needs to be cleaned often, so we have several different cleaning shifts a day. And um, she really just does not like doing it, and she'll tell you straight up if she's not going to do something. So I know that understanding of what and how to do the job is there. We've gone over it with her many, many times, um, and there's an aspect of it that she just simply will not do. And when she gets in trouble as far as like hey look if you don't if you're going to keep refusing to do this or you're just going to avoid doing it or you're going to find a reason not to do it by taking longer doing something else you're going to get written up she'll start doing it for a while we've helped her and explained this to her and how to do it and showed her how to do it we've worked with her through it and we're like okay so we know you know how to do it and then she'll do it for a bit and then she just simply won't because it's a pain in the ass to do that part of the job we get it. Nobody likes to do it. But one of the big things with our company is like if you need or, you know, want help doing something or you're having trouble with it or it makes you uncomfortable, it's an open door policy. Talk. Talk to us. Talk to people. Talk to the right people, which she just doesn't typically do. So that leads her to getting into, into more trouble. Now, enter after a while of going over this with her and it's just become like a thing. We know it happens. We're very aware of it. We work around it because there's obviously reasons. We do make exceptions. If you're older and you have issues and you make the issues known to the right, you know, to management and whatnot, then it's like, okay, well, we'll work with you or work around, around the issue. And I think that's where the communication with this uh, one particular woman is coming in is that she's not talking to the right people. So enter this new 20 year old some staff person is transferred in from another store who has just this way of speaking. She's not a bad person. She's a very lovely person, I'm sure. Um, she's I'm sure her heart's in the in the right place if she stops to think about things but the way she approaches some issues it's very snippish and snappy and very much everyone's opinion needs to be hers and when I come across the you know younger people like that I'm like okay well she has a seemingly physical um peakness and her young age and she's never come across certain issues and hardships that you know older people we just, like a rolling stone, we gather them over the years and, you know, body aches and pains. And so it's not readily easily understood by much younger individuals. But as I was saying, by all appearances, this young lady is physically peak. Mental capacity is something that has to be worked on, like the way that she approaches and speaks about things. But she's just been targeting this cashier for weeks, like... Uh, I don't think that she realizes how singular she's been going after her in people's eyes. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I agree. 
she, this person needs to do her job or she needs to ask for help or she needs to explain to the right people why she's not able to do it but this led to an issue where she was going after her so bad that management was like you know if she doesn't do it then just report it up and this is not what was happening she egged on another co-worker this young lady egged on another co-worker about the this person not doing their cleaning job when they're assigned to it to the point where he went after her, uh, the clean the lady trying not to give away names here <laughs> and um, it got ended up getting referred like it became an issue to where he was on like she was hiding for part of her shift in order not to do certain things instead of talking to somebody that she didn't tell them that she was having issues with it and nobody went to ask her if she was having issues and if she needed help because like i said english is not her first language um i was stuck at the desk when this happened and i was like so where has so and so been i haven't seen them since they did this this and this and that's been a good half hour ago and her shift's gonna end in like 15 minutes so this other staff person went to go find her and he couldn't find her so he ended up having to page her over the intercom system and when he did she came out of the employees back bathrooms in the back she had been sitting back there not wanting to confront people and not wanting to do a certain specific task that is difficult for her. so i was like oh dear and that got referred up to the manager and it ended up in her getting a verbal consultation or whatnot which isn't good because she'd been talked to about this stuff before but the whole way that everybody's been going wait i have two tunas you're making your that's not good um the way that everybody's been going about it it was really making me sick to my stomach because i was like this is not okay guys i don't find this the way these things are being gone about with her okay now granted she could have gone about it a lot better too but she's not a confrontational person she's a very non-confrontational person and i don't think other people were picking up on that um and it was it was actually starting to hurt my heart to see how things were going with this and she's like she thought like i was in her corner but i'm like no i'm in <laughs> i'm very much in my corner i do empathize with you but at the same time i know this, you do understand what you're doing and you're doing it on purpose and it's making our job the staff that are going to be kind of on your side it's going to makes it harder when you do these things but i didn't explain any of that to her because i was stuck in a in a position of i really like i did not want to get involved because i i had said my piece i was like if you need help you ask for help we're gonna we'll be happy to help you we want you to be able to do your job um comfortably and if you can't do your job then you need to talk to the right people and i got so blue in the face from telling her talk to the right people and telling her who the right people were so that um by the time that she got this verbal consultation uh it made the young lady that had been targeting her feel justified in targeting her to the point that the next time something happened like this young this this woman the, the woman that got the verbal consultation she came and she talked to me and I was just like, I'm not trying to hear this um, because she was trying to tell me what happened and, you know, how she felt like she had been gone after. And I'm like, you know, you're right to feel that way, but I'm not the right person to talk to. And I can't stress this enough. You need to stop talking to me about it because I don't, I think you need to be able to do your job. And if you can't do your job, you need to let somebody know specifically why you cannot or feel like you should not be doing this job. And I'm not the right person to be telling this to. And I guess, like I said, again, you need to talk to this person and this person who are in management and she felt hurt she felt butt hurt and i hated having to do that but i had to put my foot down because i was starting to get dragged into this like like really dragged into it like i was um the mom in, in a room full of teenagers like mommy touched me mommy touched me and then as soon as it was maybe 15 20 minutes later i had to go to the two i had to go from where i was to the desk i had to transfer what i was doing um to a different position and as this young lady came up a young young lady that i feel like had been targeting the older lady and i was like and i was just standing there i was minding my own shit doing my own thing and she just kind of she comes 
with all of her young lady energy, with all of her like twenty year old energy, she comes bounding up to the desk and she kind of flops over on the onto the counter. She's got her elbows on the counter, and she's just the snarkiest attitude. She's like, "Yay, do 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 do," and she didn't do this again and she didn't do that. And I just turned around and looked at her and I was like, "You need to stop." And it kind of took her aback, and I could tell that she wasn't expecting that out of me because I guess she thought I agreed with her. I'm like, I don't appreciate the way you're going after this woman. I was like, I, it's not nice. It's like you're very much targeting her, even if you don't think you are. And you're going to drive her to quit. And that's not fair to her because she's been with this company just as long as I have, if not longer. And she just, like, I had verbally scorched her. And she's not said of, like, a word to me since, which is good. Because I had told another coworker, the other one that was involved with it, the one that, you know, had to page this woman from... Them, uh, to find her the other day I was like y'all just treat me like freaking Switzerland in this whole my, I've said my piece I've had enough of what's going on and I'm like this is not right it's not supposed to be happening in a company like this I said this company is supposed to be very much against it and I've I'm very much against it. It's not our place to go after somebody if they're not doing their job. That's what management gets paid for. That's why they told us to just refer up to them. So I was like, and these are, it's, it's one of those, it's like, I don't, I like my job. I don't like certain people that I'm having to work with in my job right now, which is, you know, one of the big reasons I dropped down to part-time because I was saying these things were happening and this is happening and I was being treated kind of like a hypochondriac gets treated by a doctor who's like tired of hearing or seeing it. and I'm like, y'all don't get it. And now um, other people are starting to see it and other people are saying stuff about it and it's not me. And I'm like, okay, I'm just waiting for the blisters to pop at this point. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of you guys out there, cause this gets watched a lot more than I expected it to this series. So I cannot and refuse to believe that I'm the only one um, among us that has experienced these things. And it's one of those I don't want to light a match and burn. I want to watch this, the whole thing burn while I'm there. You know, I feel I deserve that. <laughs> um, that was a kind of sad story and stuff like that. But it, it has so far a decent middle part because the woman and I, I mean, she's, we're on really good friendly terms. We've worked together for years since she's transferred to the store that I work at. And... She's such a lovely spirit. I don't know if she's she's one of those she will walk around with a pocket full of hard candies like um, sugar free Jolly Ranchers, and she'll just be like she'll just hold her hand out with a handful of them and be like, "You want one? <laughs> of course I want one. If you're offering me free candy, sh yeah, come on." <laughs> but um, she's still there. She's still working there. She hopefully has settled. Because I know she was very stressed there for a little bit because of what was going on. Um, and I know that she needed a, f a friend, somebody in her corner. But I, because of my role, I couldn't be, I could not be squarely in her corner. But I wasn't taking sides either. And I think she understands that. I'm not 100% sure. I can't guess what this beautiful lady understands or not. But hoping partly also... My response to that young lady that is instigating a lot of the antagonizing feelings towards this woman kind of got a bit of a hint that she was being very high school bullyish about the stuff. And especially talking about it amongst others like she was doing. That's a huge no-no for us. We're not supposed to discuss stuff like that in that manner um, with anyone but managers. So that's another thing that really got my go my got my goat my gourd because <laughs> i just put it like this i like when somebody said something about the way that i responded to this young lady i was like would you like her talk because i know because i know she talks about me because i've heard her talk about you and other people the way she talks about this older lady that she's been going after it's like would anyone else enjoy being talked to about that or would you enjoy her talking to other people about your personal stuff like that personal work stuff like that so and it just it kind of put it in a different mind frame for him I was like just like I told her I said 
this woman doesn't always understand stuff and I know you can show her and whatnot and sometimes she won't feel like doing it but she is not the kind of person that's going to be like can you help me I mean that's because she's from a different culture she's just different that way so it's like so you just go up and you see if she needs help with something if you notice that she's having a hard time getting something done or is not doing something you need to say this. I know it's not it's not what we're supposed to do but take the initiative with her because you know sometimes that's the only way that you're going to find out that she's having a hard time it's just the position of responsibility we're in some people really just they can't take a step back and say oh okay so let me let me take the initiative seeing as i'm in a position to do so and it's kind of heartbreaking that a lot of that training now is falling short and you're just putting people in positions to fill the positions and i don't think it's right but that's just me i'm one person who got tired of feeling like a hypochondriac and a system that is supposed to take everything somebody you know into consideration when it's being said from somebody from my position the wrong people's words are being taken into consideration over others and i just it's a it's a i have to accept that like i said i'm just i'm sitting back now and i'm just waiting for the blisters to pop i i'll, I'll keep you updated if she if that beautiful lady if she um stays or leaves or what but i really really hope she stays because she she's a good worker and not only that she's a good person and she doesn't deserve it so i have ordering and stuff to do and i'll come back another time with the other story of um say this one was me becoming switzerland i have another one of me becoming a invalid <laughs> so yeah lots happened in the last couple of weeks that I've been sitting on top of but thanks so much for joining me we've got the expansion we've got a new product so when I come back I think I have enough now for another product but I can't buy it I have to work my way up to level 37 I'll be doing that in the meantime have a great rest of your night guys bye